Happiness and joy, I want to welcome our bishop, Bishop Jerome Fijo. He is a bishop in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. So with joy, we welcome him. Bishop, welcome to our parish. He's going to tell us more about the diocese. He's also going to ask us to support the diocese. Please be generous as we do that. This Mass, we offer it for Seferina Barba for the repose of the soul, for Diana Bedeya and Rodolfo Balgame. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent by God to save your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the bread that came down from heaven. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promise eternal life to those who eat the bread offered by you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God in the Prepare for those who love you good things which no eye can see. 
Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpasses every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has set out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, come, eat of my food, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness, that you might live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A greeting from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live, not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine, in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. this bread will live forever and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews who quarreled among themselves said, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much. I am Bishop Jerome Ficio, Bishop of the Diocese of St. Thomas in the United States Virgin Islands. There are two Virgin Islands, the Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, and the United States Virgin Islands. How many of you have already been in the United States Virgin Islands? Oh, a good number of you have already been there. So you will relate to what I'm going to be telling you today. I'm being sent by my presbytery, the priests of my diocese, as well as the people of my diocese, following the invitation sent to me and to us by His Excellency Archbishop Thomas and, of course, Bishop Gregory and uh, with the cooperation of the pastor of St. Thomas More Parish. Since coming yesterday, I feel very, very warmly welcome here among you. So much so that I feel like uh, not going back to the Virgin Islands. <laughs> but I'm delighted to be here, and I know that my people, the wonderful people of the Virgin Islands, they expect me to come back. They have asked me to extend their warm greetings to you. Despite what we're going, what's happening, we want to, first of all, thank you for what you have done for us in the past. And we believe that uh, you will continue to sustain us, to help us. So I have a message coming from them to you. But before I deliver that message, since the delivery, it is done in the context of a Sunday liturgy. Please allow me to say something about the readings of this weekend. Dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the 20th Sunday in the ordinary time, year B. And the readings call us to live with wisdom and understanding. The confirmation students already know what wisdom is all about. It is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, understanding as well. The, the readings urge us to live wisely. If you have wisdom, you cannot but live wisely and seek true nourishment in Jesus. The readings, the readings remind us of the importance of wisdom, understanding, the call to live according to God's will and the promise of eternal life through Jesus. Jesus, who is the bread of life. So the first reading speaks of wisdom, calling out to the naive and senseless. Wisdom invites them to leave behind their foolish ways and come dine at her table. This image of a banquet shows us that wisdom is not only valuable, but also inviting and accessible. Wisdom's invi invitation is for a better life. When we choose wisdom, we choose a path that leads to true fulfillment and joy. Joy being the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So if you have the Holy Spirit, it has to be seen through joy. If you receive the wisdom from God, then we cannot but Show it through the joy that animates us. The first reading speak of wisdom. Yes. Brothers and sisters, after coming to church, being exposed to the wisdom of God, we cannot but be happy people, regardless of what may happen. So when people see us out there coming back from our church, they see us radiating joy or else they will ask us why then we went to church. So when we come to church, we go home with something, and that something comes from the bread of life, and it also comes from listening to the teachings of the Holy Scripture. 
Today's gospel reading continues where last Sunday ended, with Jesus identifying himself as the bread of life, the food that permanently satisfies our deepest hunger. He, cont he, he contrasts this with the manna. Jesus contrasts this with the manna. The ancestor ate in the desert. They ate the manna and still died. But those who partake in Jesus, the living bread, will have eternal life. This teaching is central to our faith. It's good that we have that awareness when we come to receive the body of Christ. When we come to receive Christ, we're not just coming to receive something, a piece of bread. We're coming to see Jesus present in the Eucharist. Jesus, which is the source of wisdom. Jesus, who is the bread of life, eternal life. Come and eat my bread. Drink the wine I have prepared. What this invitation involves, brothers and sisters, is expressed in more specific terms by St. Paul in our second reading today. Speaking to the Christian community of Ephesus, he warns them to be careful about the sort of life they live. Seek wisdom from above, live by that wisdom, and be fed by the Eucharistic bread. When we participate in the Eucharist as you are doing this morning, and receive the body and blood of Christ, we affirm our deepest identity as members of Christ's body. Call the source of healing and renewal for the world of our time. Now, let us talk about the Diocese of St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. So if you see that I'm too excited about the Virgin Islands and I'm going over and over and over again, please just wave your hand and I will stop. Well, brothers and sisters, the Virgin Islands are situated in the Caribbean, 50 miles east of Puerto Rico. About 200,000 people live in the Virgin Islands. The Catholics represent 15% of the population. The landscape is striking with many beautiful beaches. Well, those of you who have been there can testify to that. But the, the Virgin Islands have beautiful people, wonderful people, loving people, kind people. And so if you come to the Virgin Islands and you will see, if they realize that you, they, you don't know where to go, they will approach you. They will ask you questions. They will be friendly, kind. So it's important that you know these brothers and sisters. Despite its beauty, the Diocese of St. Thomas is the smallest and poorest diocese in the United States of America. Our pastoral center, our parishes, as well as our schools, currently rely heavily on outside donations to cover the cost of their operation. This explains why your bishop has invited me here, especially after the devastating hurricane, hurricanes, followed by COVID-19 pandemic. This disaster inflicted a serious blow on our economy and destroyed our tourism. In fact, we are struggling to make ends meet, more so now than before. For us, no tourism, no resources. Our people and our churches depend on tourism. On a general level, there is a great deal of poverty within our territory. Many people still live far beneath the poverty line. That is why on all three islands, we have a very active Catholic charity program. This includes homeless shelters, soup kitchens, food pantry, clothing distribution center, as well as providing needed financial support to the poor, including the nuns working in our school and 
parishes. We have to take care of them. We have to pay their rent. They have to eat. But we have them, the precious in our eyes, because they are teaching, they are instilling the values of the Catholic faith in the hearts and minds of our young people. So without your generous participation, it will be very difficult for us to significantly touch the lives of the faithful and the poor in our diocese. So in addition to helping us fund our Catholic charities and schools, your mission cooperative plan collection that you're going to be contributing to this morning will help in our recovery effort to repair and rebuild structures affected by previous hurricanes and to care for our priests and seminarians. We're blessed to have priests. We're also blessed to have seminarians. For brothers and sisters, we do not have a seminary of our own. We have to send our seminarian to all the seminaries here on the mainland or in Rome. But it costs anywhere between $35,000 to $45,000 per, per seminarian per year. And then again, because we benefit, we, we receive some sort of assistance. But it still has to cost us that much, thirty-five to 45000 per seminarian. Furthermore, we extend an invitation to your parish to join our mission program. Perhaps you may entertain the idea of adopting some of our school. Such assistance, whether physical or spiritual, financial or material, will foster connections and instill a profound sense of shared purpose. We are confident that with your partnership, we will be able, brothers and sisters, we will be able to make a difference in the lives of the people God entrusted to our care. As a bishop of my diocese standing here, I still don't know how I'm going to do to really take care of our students in our schools. And it's a concern number one because we have schools that really will need injection of funds from the bishop for that school to continue to do what it has been doing in St. Thomas. So please help me, help this bishop, help this diocese, take care of those children. They come from poor family and they depend on us. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for anything that you will do to help, you, to help us keep those schools open and take care of the people God entrusted to our care. So this will afford you the opportunity if you were to come to St. Thomas yourself, and this is something that we will encourage you to do. So when you come next time as a tourist, please also ask to see the people of the Virgin Islands. Because oftentimes when people come as a tourist, they welcome them at the, uh, the airport and they drive them directly to their hotels and then they take them to beautiful fancy beaches and that's the picture they have. And when they come back, they show the picture everybody wants to go to the Virgin Islands. But there is also poverty in the Virgin Islands. So next time when you come, please make sure that you come and visit our churches and the priest will be ready to kind of show you what's happening and our struggle on the field. Once again, thank you for your great generosity, prayers, and active support in our pastoral work. May God reward and bless each one of you abundantly. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages. God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the conscious palate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adore and glorify, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy cardinal apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident that God, who feeds us and knows our needs, we hear our prayers, we present our petition before him. For the church, may we who eat the living bread and drink from the chalice of life truly share in the fullness of life and be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and all leaders of our government, may they be held by the wisdom of God to choose good rather than evil, honesty rather than deceit, and service rather than greed, especially during this election season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater patience with ourselves and our loved ones, may we slow down enough to appreciate all the gifts with which we have been blessed and nurture those relationships which bring us life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For young people who are heading off to college, particularly those going away for the first time, and for all of our local students and their teachers as they begin their new school year, may God guide them as they adapt to change and help them to make wise decisions and many new friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those we've been asked to pray for this weekend, for the sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, for those who died recently, and for those who mourn their passing, for the attentions written in our virtual parish book of prayers, and for those that we hold in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, in your compassion, hear the prayers we offer you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Today's collection includes both St. Thomas More's weekly collection and our second collection for the Diocese of the Virgin Islands. The brown baskets are for St. Thomas More and the white baskets are for the Virgin Islands. They have photos to label each of them for you. If you didn't come prepared to contribute to both collections this weekend, but would like to show support for the Virgin Islands, you can write a check and label it clearly on the memo line. We're so grateful for your continued generosity and for the support we receive from those of you who donate through our online giving. Thank you.
Sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought a renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancel out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. As with our end, we acclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body we should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, when we eat this bread and drink this cup. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas More, our patron saint, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Judge Leo, our Bishop, Gregory the Auxiliary, our Bishop here, Jerome, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you and are passing from this life, give kind admission to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, let us share some sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And as a reminder, the Eucharist is for Catholics who have prepared themselves to receive Holy Communion. We ask that you please consume the body of Christ immediately before stepping away from your Eucharistic minister. If you are not Catholic or cannot receive for any reason at this time, we'd like to invite you forward for a blessing. And the sign for a blessing is to simply place your arms across your heart.
through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his coheres in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. So we want to thank God for the gift of our teachers and our students. And we ask them to please stand. If you are a teacher or a student, wherever you are, would you please stand and let's acknowledge you. We are proud of you. We are happy for you. Thank you for accepting to go back to school. <laughs> you know, some people say I'm tired of school. I don't want to go back, but this one's want to go back. So thank you, students. Thank you, teachers. Please stretch out your hands wherever you are. Let's pray for these, our brothers and sisters. God of wisdom and might, we praise you for the wonder of our being, for mind, body, and spirit. Be with our things, the children and teachers, as they begin a new school year. Bless them. Give them strength and grace as their bodies grow. Wisdom and knowledge to their minds as they search for understanding. Bless the teachers. Bless the students and grant them all peaceful enthusiasm to their hearts 
We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. All right, so we do our normal course to the normal things we do before the end of Mass. Anybody visiting us for the first time from this side? Don't be shy to raise your hands. We celebrate people here at St. Thomas. Nobody. It's a large family. Anybody from here? Nobody. Did I see the bishop raise your hand? No. Are you visiting the first time? All right. Welcome. Come back again, okay? Okay. Did I see any hand again? I can't see no hands. Over there, you visiting for the first time? Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yes. And uh, anybody from here? Yes, come back again. Yes, 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 yes. Did I see anybody on this side? Yoo-hoo, that's him. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Any other person? All right, anybody celebrating their birthdays from here? Let's go. One, two, one, two. Birthday going. One, two. Birthday. Happy birthday over there. Somebody raise your hand. You're not sure of your birthday. It's all right. Wow. Uh, happy birthday. That's a baby. Woohoo! We love babies. Yes. We love babies here at St. Thomas Mall. Did somebody raise your hand? Happy birthday, sir. Happy birthday to you. All right. Any other person? Any other person? Birthdays. Are you celebrating? Birthdays. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, all the ladies are forever 21, so we know that. Any other person? Happy birthday. All right. Okay. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Is that a baby there? Yeah, that's a baby, another baby. Woohoo! We love them, babies. Bring them, keep bringing them. Make more babies, bring them. Uh-uh. Uh, all right. Happy birthday. Anybody celebrating wedding anniversaries? Did I miss anybody? Oh, the young man. Happy birthday. I'm sorry. Okay, happy birthday. Yeah, I said raise your hand so I can see you. All right, it's okay. Any wedding anniversaries this side? Nobody. Wedding anniversary is going, 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 gone. Nobody. Wedding anniversary. Nobody at this big mass. Wow. I just observed as mass was going on, somebody, somebody uh, stepped in here and tried to grab another person's purse and run away. This is a church. It's not a place for you to steal. If you didn't come to church, don't do that. Go to some other place. And do what you need to do. If you're a Catholic, also you're stepping forward for communion. We know our ways of receiving communion. Don't come in here and try to steal somebody's whatever. We have people watching all the time, just in case you don't know. Security guys, I'm letting the secret out. So don't think you can just step in here, snatch somebody's paws, or try to do something silly. No, it's a church. All right. Before the final blessing, I just want to bring to your attention that now you know someone in the Virgin Islands, and that someone is me. And so when you come to St. Thomas next time, make sure that you come with your pastor and the over there. And please do not come during the hurricane season. The Lord be with you. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.
you for blessing my days. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Okay. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. Thank you. God bless. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, come back now. Amen. 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 Take care. God bless. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. God bless. Okay, I'll continue to bless you and protect you as much as you Okay.
What's that? Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm so happy. Last week I was in charge of setting up this mask and it was totally screwed up. The book wasn't down, so we need to bring, I'm going to make sure the gospel book is down on the table. Yeah, I'm going to take it back. In just Pardon a minute. Me? I'm going to take it back. Oh, you're going to take it? Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to make sure she puts a couple extra hosts out because the masks have been packed and we ran out. Oh, my.
Did somebody take it? Did Lisa have it? Who has the book? <laughs> 